What's up folks? Let's go fishing in the backyard today. I've got a bucket full of live bait. I've got a blue cup. I've got my, what do you call it? My micro spin. I've got my worm, my plastic worm caster. And I've got a another reel, rod and reel here set up for um, live bait with a bobber and a hook. So I'm gonna get me and find me a good spot and uh, put some live bait out real quick and see what happens. I'll be right back. Folks, I got one already. Nope, got off. Forget that. Huh? That, that axle? Yeah. What's the best way of getting that? Did you pull everything down like I said? I've, I've got it all off. I'm, I'm now trying to pull the axle out. Oh, you got to get up in there where it goes into the transmission itself and put your damn big screwdriver or pry bar in there and snap it out. When you do, get a pan under it. Oh, okay. You're going to lose fluid. Got one, folks. A little one. <laughs> of course it's a little one. What else would you expect? Got him. Ooh, almost got him in the eye. Didn't let him go too long. Yeah, I let him go too long. I'm not having much action over there on that live bait. This is the first fish I caught. Somebody said be gentle when you take the hook out. Should I be gentle when I put the hook in? <laughs> That's a hot dog fish. Make him into a hot dog bun. That's about all that's good for. Yeah, my my bait, my live bait done swam to the shallows. It's just hanging out right there in the shallows. So I'm gonna have to reel him in and cast him back out a little deeper. Where uh yeah, where it's a little more dangerous for them. That's what I'll do. But before I do, I will drink a blue cup. Uh, not the camera already. Well, I don't know, folks, about this live bait. It just ain't doing nothing. I'm surprised that there ain't nothing after it because I got a really lively fish on there and he's, you know, He's wiggling around a whole bunch. Got him about three feet below my bobber. 
and it's out there in the middle towards you know that's deeper water it be, ought to be some bigger some bigger fit some bigger fish out there just give them time they'll start feeding here in a minute it's not dark enough I don't guess sometimes when your live bait quits moving give them a little twitch tug on his tail a little bit with that hook <laughs> piss him off a little bit you know what I mean there we go with the dogs. Folks, I'd give that fish a, a break. He, he didn't had it. He wasn't moving around too much. So I took him off the hook and let him go. Um, They're going to kill each other in here. Damn. It's a nice big one. Hey, I mean, he ain't real big, but... That's perfect for a bait. Now I hook them through the lip sometimes, but I see that they get a lot more freaking wiggly if you hook them through the tail like this. Hook them in the tail and send them on out there. Look at that in the tail. Let them swim. Let him pull that bobber around. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a lot better, I hope. He's moving now. The other one wasn't, he, he didn't quit moving. He was just sitting in one place and my bobber was just doing doing like this. Oh yeah, this one here's swimming. He's taking the bobber like that. That means if there ain't a bass where he's at, he might swim across where there is one. Zoom out, you can't see yourself, boy. There we go. Be right back to come to the airplane. So, folks, I've been doing some measuring and uh, some pricing on some material to build a dock. And I think what I want to do is I want to get some 4x4 four four posts and some 2x6s and build me a 10x10 10 10, uh, dock. What do y'all think about that? Put your comments down below. Have you ever built a dock before? What kind of suggestions do you have for me when I start to try to build this dock? Um, I, my biggest concern is getting the 4x4s in the correct place square. And and how do I get them down? Do I get, you know, I've seen PV, PVC pipe, people use PVC pipe with a jet nozzle and a water hose and they jet it down like that. That's probably going to be the easiest way for me to do it. I, I can't be using no damn sledgehammer. Um, but just let me know if you've if you've ever had any experience building a dock or whatever. Throw a comment down below and give me any suggestions that you might have. But um, what I'm what I'm looking at, I think ten by ten or maybe ten by eight, maybe even eight by eight. I want enough for two chairs. Two lawn chairs, a cooler, a uh, small table between the chairs, something so you can set your drinks on, um, and a, ra a radio. Of course, I'm going to have to run electricity on the ground out there to it. So I want to have a uh, light and uh, a receptacle for electricity. But that's all in the future. I'm just going to buy a little bit at a time. All I can afford um, is just a little bit at a time. So I think first I'm just going to get my four. I'm going to get four four by four posts and uh, four ten foot two by sixes, and go ahead and build me a square. Build me a square and just start. Like, I mean, that's going to that's start from there. Once I get it square, I mean, the rest of it's easy. It's, you know, it's just trying to get it square and get those posts sunk is the main thing that I'm worried about, uh, you know, making sure it's square. Um, <laughs> I hope my neighbor ain't watching, but I, I don't know who did, built her dock, but it ain't too square. 
if you, you can't really tell from this angle, but yeah, it didn't do such a good job. But it works. I mean, it, you know, it works. I and mean, I also need to uh, study a little bit about the water table and how high to build my dock off of the bottom. Um, oh, the elevation, I guess you could say, or the altitude. What altitude do I need to put my dock at? I'm going to do some measuring. Hers is a little bit high. I want mine a little bit lower, you know, to the dock. I mean, to the water. I don't want it too too high off the water. But I also have to take into consideration when we, when we get rain, the water comes up. So that spillway over there, um, when it goes over that spillway, that's the highest level that the rip the, the lake usually gets to. Is, that maybe I need to go over there and take an altitude reading at the spillway at the level of the spillway um, that's probably what I should do put a comment down below if you know anything about that this fishing thing just don't seem to be working tonight I uh, today I put new lights on my utility trailer um, because Today I was down at Lowe's and I was looking at the lumber and stuff to build the dock. And I also need some pavers too. Um, but I couldn't take my trailer because the lights were fucked. <laughs> so I got home, I guess I don't know what time it was, around lunchtime or so, so, and I started working on my lights. I had to put a new plug on the front where it plugs into the truck. Had to solder, a new, solder all that in and uh, replace both taillights. Um, taillights weren't working. They corroded, just junk, you know, garbage. Got rusted. Everything rusts out here in Florida freaking air. So I put some good dialectic, some electrical grease in there. Hopefully it won't rust this time. But they, you know, the lights are six bucks or something at Walmart, so. If I have to replace them once a year, that's 12 bucks, uh, big deal. But my trailer's ready now to go buy some lumber. And uh, oh, I had to buy a starting capacitor for my damn air conditioner. 247 dollars for the service, for the you know parts and service and all that. Wow. That sucks. But you know, that's part of freaking life, man. That's part of life. Um, <laughs> what can I say? I guess between the few alligators that are in here, the otter, and uh, the people that are keeping the fish that they catch out of here, it's kind of screwed, I guess it's kind of screwed the fishing up really because you can't really blame it on that because you don't know, you know, you don't know. It could be the barometric pressure. They might be gone to vote. <laughs> who do you think fish, if fish could vote, who would they vote for? Put your comment down below on that one. Who would, who would a bat, a largemouth bass, who would a largemouth bass vote for? Okay. Who would a catfish vote for? There you go, comment down below. Who would a catfish vote for if a catfish could vote? And who would a bass vote for if he could vote? I've got one, folks. Lost him. Huh. We'll go again. It's hard to tell if something. It's getting a little dark. So I can't. I, I heard or I, I saw a wave follow my bait. And it's not. He's just not there though. Got one, folks. So I got a pretty nice too. Not bad. 
Be a jumper. Let's bring them up on this side. Don't give them no damn slack. Right at dark, folks. It never fails. Let them jump. <laughs> Come here. Come on. Block it. Look out for that hook. Got him. Boy, that hook's barely in there, too. That hook is barely there. Let's bring it back around. I know you can probably barely see it. It's too damn dark. Everywhere. Anyhow, we'll let them go. That's two. Folks, that's the end of this one. Too damn dark now, I can't see. Bye.